Greetings. Let's talk hair transplantation. There are currently two methods, strip and follicular unit extraction, also called FUE. The strip method entails cutting a strip of flesh from the back of the head from which to derive the donor hair. The wound is then closed down. However, the patient must endure a scar for the rest of his life. FUE entails microscopic surgery where an instrument is used to cut around individual hair follicles. The result is very tiny wounds which are cosmetically insignificant. If you have decided on FUE, be aware that there are many types of FUE machines and techniques out there. We would like to introduce you to Dr. Umar's revolutionary, advanced, state-of-the-art FUE system called UGRAFT. We will now illustrate how it compares with other FUE methods. A straight punch is prone to injuring the graft compared to the punch whose cutting axis is angled away from the follicle. The red spiral demonstrates the patent-pending, gentle pulling action of the punch on the follicle. The U-graft system minimizes damage to the graft as it's being extracted, using this patent-pending, gentle pulling action with less trauma while cutting around it. A needle is then used to gently nudge the graft away from the skin. In body and beard hair extraction, where the hair is curled beneath the skin, U-graft leaves the competition behind because the gentle pulling action of the graft cancels the difficulty posed by hair angulation during extraction. During FUE, the graft can get impacted inside the punch. In the other method, tweezers are used to manually extract the graft with the possibility of damage. Not when using the U-graft, however. All that unnecessary stress on the graft is now a thing of the past. With the U-graft, the pedal interface uses a fluid system to expel the graft from the punch safely for the best possible harvesting. Body hair transplantation, or BHT, is important because it expands the traditional donor supply, which is crucial in the following situations. Severe baldness. Methods of transplantation that solely rely on hair from the horseshoe pattern have a lifetime supply of four to 5,000 grafts, which at best will result in poor coverage and unnatural hair patterns. Using U-graft, hair can be taken from many donor sources on the body, credibly providing anywhere between 12,000 and 25,000 U-grafts, making the seemingly impossible possible. When it comes to eyebrow transplants, the U-graft method is also superior. Advantages include less trimming. Body hair much more closely resembles eyebrow hair because of its fineness, providing a much more natural result. Another good use for body hair is the creation of soft, natural hairlines. Traditional donor hair is often too thick and coarse for the frontal hairline. Body hair, or hair taken from the nape of the neck, provides a soft, feathered, gradually thickening hairline for a more desirable and natural look. In situations of depleted donor supply, for example, an accident or burn patient, prior or traditional transplantation techniques, or simply not having enough head hair donor, utilizing body and beard hair donor areas the U-graft can be used in repairing these situations. Now let's examine the mechanism of wound healing and how the U-graft compares to the other methods of FUE. In wounds of similar diameter, because of the difference of the direction of the cutting axis in the other method compared to the U-graft, the shape of the wound created is different. The U-graft puncture is slightly inverted at the surface comparatively. Inverted wounds heal smaller. As the wound is contracting, the edges made by an inverted wound will meet first, creating a tiny dot scar, resulting in a less detectable extraction footprint. The U-graft system, developed by Dr. Umar, will allow for more people's hair loss and eyebrow restoration to be addressed because of lack of donor supply and a more natural looking result will follow. U-graft. Taking FUE to the next level.